Hey folks, today we are looking at a new battery pack for me M3 EV. It is a small 52 volt battery pack that is equipped with powerful Molosel cells. But is it the best battery for electric freeriding? Let's find out. This battery can make 50 amps continuously and is small enough to fit even in the small space in the frame of my bike. It is not only smaller, but also lighter and cheaper than the backpack battery I normally use for high power applications. But will it deliver the same performance? Or maybe even more? When we talk about electric free riding, we mean riding an e-bike that is suitable for any terrain and therefore requires enough power. To have the most fun, we need at least 2000 watts and a little more can't hurt either. In addition to a good motor and a strong frame that can withstand this level of performance, you need above all a strong battery that can deliver so much power. Many of you know that EM3 EV has been my favorite manufacturer of high power batteries for years now. They offer best quality in manufacturing and they are one of the few manufacturers whose specifications are reliable and not massively overstated like most others. So you get exactly what you pay for, and because of the high quality the batteries last much longer than cheaper alternatives. For the charging connection, a high current charging plug is installed, which can charge with up to 8 amps. Since my battery has 52 volts and is therefore charged at slightly less than 60 volts, this means that it can be charged quickly at a maximum of about 450 watts. So the battery can be fully charged in about 1.5 hours. The battery has a built-in Bluetooth connection. Through the app of the EM3 EV you can view the major parameters of the battery in real time. You can see here that the battery can actually deliver up to 50 amps. The more amps the battery can supply, the greater the power of the motor. This is important for acceleration and steep climbs. And in addition to that it allows to do burnout, drifts and things like that. During the test rides I noticed that the battery provides a maximum power of slightly less than 2500 watt without getting hot. Compared with my previous battery, this one brings a quarter more power, and that even with significantly less size and weight. But how does this battery achieve such good performance? To find out, let's go back to the workplace and take a look at how the battery is built. Even though the case of the battery looks very similar to cheaper variants, it offers many features and improvements over the typical Chinese battery packs. These tabs on the bottom of the housing and the slider are much more stable than on most other batteries. They hold the battery securely on the bike, even in bumpy terrain and jumps. Here you can see the slots that connect the battery to the mount on the bike. And on the bracket are these massive pins that connect into the battery slots, which allow for the high discharge current that this battery is made for. At EM3 you can choose between different connectors, I have chosen XT90 connectors, because they are made for high discharge currents. Also included in the package are the matching connector for the opposite side, along with some shrink tubes. So you have everything you need to connect the battery to your e-bike controller. To attach the bracket to the frame you use these rubber pads. They can be attached in different positions on the bracket, so that the holder can then be screwed tightly into the holes of the bottle holder. The holder mechanism is built very sturdy overall, and we never had a battery that came loose, as was unfortunately often the case with other manufacturers. I have also purchased a charger from the EM3. In this case it is a slow charger with only 2 amps. But as mentioned earlier, the battery can be charged fast with up to 450 watt, and the EM3 also has more powerful chargers than this one. This fast charging is possible due to the high-quality BMS, the built-in cells in this high-quality charging port that can handle up to 8 amps, where other manufacturers usually use cheaper connectors that manage just about half of that. In the over 10 years in which we build e-bikes, we have already tested many different batteries. For the type of electric freeriding we love, the power-to-weight and size ratio is very important. 
This battery of EM3 EV was built with Molecel 28 cells, which achieve a power of just under 2500 watt, and this at a very small size and weight of the battery. Sure, there are cheaper Chinese products, but to the overall quality of this battery they do not come anywhere close. Therefore, this battery is a clear recommendation from our point of view. If you like the video please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this you are welcome to subscribe. I also appreciate questions and comments and will gladly answer them. Take care and see you next time.